In today's episode, I'm going to show you how to use the OLED display. I'm going to show you how to hook it up to an Arduino board, like the Arduino Nano. But you could use other boards, including the ESP32 microcontroller, because it uses the I2C communication. We have the SDA and the SCL pins that we need to hook them up to the board. Here we have a circuit schematic diagram that shows you how to use these displays. It is called OLED display and it stands for organic light emitting diode. This is 128 by 64 pixels display. If you have another size, you could use it with the same way. As I said, it is using the I2C communication. We connected the SEL to the SEL of the board. For an Arduino, it is the analog pin A5. The SDA goes to the SDA, which is A4. And this display needs a little bit of power. By connecting the VCC to the 5 volt pin, for an Arduino Nano, it is the VN. This pin outputs 5 volts. The GND goes to the GND. Some OLED displays comes with another pin, and it is called the reset pin. You may need to connect it to one of the digital pins, like the pin number 5. For me, it doesn't come with this fifth pin. Once you connect it, the OLED display, we can move on to the Arduino IDE. First of all, you have to install two libraries so that you can use these kind of displays by going to Tools, Manage Libraries, and let's search for the first one. Just write SSD1306, and that's the name of the OLED display, and the library that we need is Adafruit SSD1306 by Adafruit. Make sure to install it using the Install button. The second one is called GFX, and search for Adafruit GFX library. I've already installed it using the install button. Once you do that, we can open up an example sketch by going to file, then examples. Under here, we have the name of the library, Adafruit SSD 1306. We have different options. For me, I have 128 by 64 display and it is using the I2C communication. Before we upload the sketch, you may need to change few parameters like the OLED reset pin. For me, it doesn't come with a reset pin. I'm going to leave it as default, minus 1. Then you have to set the address of the OLED display. And it could be 0x3d or 0x3c. I've already used this address, but it doesn't work. That's why I'm going to select the second address. Then we can select the right board. For me, it is an Arduino Nano. And let's hit upload. We have these cool animations to test the OLED display and I highly recommend you to read this sketch like displaying images using this array. Here we have an empty sketch. I'm going to show you how to use this display but let's copy a few things like the libraries that we need. We've already installed these two libraries and this is built in and it is used for the I2C communication. Then we have to create an object of type Adafruit SSD 1306 I will just copy it, then you can give it any name you want, like display. In these parentheses, we have to set few parameters. The first two parameters are the width and the height. So I have 128 by 64 pixels display. Then we add AND and the name wire. And this object will use it to set the I2C communication. The last parameter is the reset pin. For me, I'm going to set it to minus 1 because this display doesn't come with a reset pin. Under the setup function, we have to start this object or initialize it using display, then dot begin, and this takes two parameters. I'm gonna copy them from this main sketch. The second parameter is the address. I'm gonna pass it in directly, 0x3c. As I said, if it doesn't work, you have to use 3d. First, I'm going to show you how to display a text using this display object. But before that, you have to know a few functions, like display, then dot clear display, to make sure that we have an empty screen. Before we start writing any kind of text, we have to set few parameters using display, then dot, and use set text size to set the text size. This takes a value between 1 and 8. Let's try with 1. Then we can set a color using display dot set text color and use white. 
make sure it is all uppercase the next function is used to set the cursor position set cursor I'm gonna select it 0 0 which is the top left corner next we can use the function display dot print or print alan to go back to the next line like hello world last but not least in order to apply these changes we have to call another function using display and it is called display and that's how we can write text using these kind of displays and there you go we have hello world I think I'm gonna change the size let's set it to 3 the letters are bigger now let's try to display some cool images to do that first we have to resize it to the same size of the display which is 128 pixels by uh, 64 pixels and open it with paint if you are using windows and let's hit resize 128 by 64 and hit ok but we can't take this image under our code we have to convert it into an array that will tell the display to change the value of the pixel and to do that first we have to save this new image using file save as like png you could go to this link I'm gonna add it under the video description then we can select the image using choose files it is under my desktop you could also see a preview of the result I'm gonna adjust the threshold so that we can see the logo much better then to get the array of pixels we have to use Arduino code then generate it let's copy it using copy output I'm gonna create it under here using control V we don't need these uh, variables we only need this array let's change its name to a simpler one like logo array if you want to display an animation you could use the loop function first we need to clear the screen using display dot clear display then we have another function draw bitmap this function takes few parameters like the position from where we're gonna start drawing the image I'm gonna use 0 0 then the name of the array I have called it logo array then we set the size which is 128 by 64 and finally the color I'm gonna use 1 which means white to apply these changes we have to call display then dot display let's check if it's working and there you go we have the logo of our channel I think that's pretty much it guys for this video I hope you like it if you have any question or comment about these kind of displays make sure to write it under the comment section down below and I will see you in the next one